Welcome to Fab for Less, and today we've got a new feature, the Player's Toolbox. We're going to be looking at all the staples you need for your collection, and we're looking at generics. Let's get in. Equipment is first up, and we're going to have to respect those arcane damage dealing heroes, so a full set of null room is something you should really have in your collection. Blossom of Spring is the new card from the Classic Battles decks. There's a strong case that this is actually better than the Tunic in the Blitz format. It can give you your resource straight away, although it doesn't block for one. Best of the First Fist is a better option in some go wide decks as it can give you an extra resource. Goliath Gauntlet can create a big turn out of nowhere by giving an attack plus two. The Snapdragon Scalers is a threat that's constantly on the board, giving an attack go again when you need it. Nimbleism is one of those staple non-attack actions. It costs zero and can buff an attack with cost one or less. Come to fight can buff any attack, but it costs one. It also defends for three, so it might be a better option in defensive decks. Captain's Call has modes and you can choose to buff your next attack or give it go again. Minnowism is another non-attack action that might be considered a staple for your collection. The real value on this one is that you can go and fetch it after you've played Belittle, offering you some card advantage, which is always welcome. Speaking of card advantage, the most played common attack action card is from way back in Welcome to Wraith, and it's Snatch. It comes in for four, and on hit it draws a card. Belittle costs one to come in for three with built-in go again. It can also go and fetch you a Minnowism, giving you that much needed card advantage. I'm willing to bet that there's no better feeling in flesh and blood than when you set up a big attack and then play a pummel on top of it, making your opponent discard a card and take a load of damage to boot. Pummel is great in every colour, it's worth picking up a full set for your collection. Razor Reflex is mostly played in red. It's a great attack reaction that can give your lower cost attack actions go again, as well as forcing through some damage. Sink Below is the most played defence reaction. Lucky for us it's a common card, so we should definitely get these for our collection. It costs zero, blocks for four, and can advance our game plan by sifting our hand. Fate for Seen does a very similar job. It's worth picking these up too. Unmovable is a staple in defensive decks. It's got huge blocking power. We should pick this up in red and blue for our collection. Oasis Respite is an instant from the latest set, Uprising. It's quickly becoming a staple, particularly in the Blitz format where there's no sideboarding of the main deck. It's extremely versatile as it can prevent arcane as well as combat damage. Sigil of Solace used to be considered a staple in previous metas. These days it's not so much, but it's still worth picking up for your collection. Not every deck wants to run items, and if you do run them, you should run them sparingly. They don't block, which is a real drawback. However, being able to carry resources over between turns is a really powerful effect. Energy Potion and Time Snap Potion are the two most played. It'd be worth picking up play sets of these. These card recommendations were made using the data from Teclo Labs. If you haven't checked out Teclo Labs yet, there's a link in the description. It crunches data from lots of deck lists and gives us really important information about single cards. Teclo Labs comes from the creators of FabDB. If you haven't checked this out, there's also a link in the description. It's a great deck builder and collection manager. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment if you found this content useful.